Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Jess. Today I thought I'd show you guys a video on the Brigio um, scalp massager. I showed this in my what I got for Christmas this past Christmas 2022. So I thought it would be fun to do a video on this um, and show you guys how I've been using it, what I've been using with it. So I'll take it out here. But it just looks like this. And then just kind of goes in your hand like this. So you can kind of like grasp your palm around it. But for scalp massaging is what this is used for. And why I do scalp massaging is because it um, helps exfoliate your scalp. Like with dandruff, it helps get rid of that. Um, helps to massage the hair follicles so that way it can start to regrow hair and um, reduce tension and stress in the scalp. So all great things. What I, I've been using it is for, um, I had noticed that I thought my hair was getting thinner or falling out like around up here. So that's why I had put it on my Christmas list because I wanted to get one to help with to stimulate my scalp for hair growth. So that's why I bought this and or one of this, I guess I should say <clears throat> to use for that and also just to help with like scalp tension and overall just for like a healthy scalp. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a video on this and I'm going to use it with a little bit of hair oil. I basically already had this whole video filmed and I decided to refilm it because how I had my camera set up, you couldn't even hear me and it was making clicking sound again. So I decided not to use that tripod and get out my husband's tripod and he helped me set it up and still have my light ring in here with me in the bathroom so you guys can see me really good but not have my camera hooked up to it because that's why I couldn't hear me because I had it, I don't know, hooked up but not right. So, um, got all that fixed and now I'm refilming this. So, because I didn't think, I thought the video was good but I didn't think it was good enough and I'm really trying to make sure my videos are good on here. So, yeah, decided to refilm. So, um, first off, I'm going to go in with just a little bit. I'm only going to do like one little tiny pump of the Moroccan um, treatment hair oil. I use the light for fine or light colored hair. So I thought it would be um, good to show you guys. This is kind of what I use just to kind of help glide the massager in my hair. But I've already like brushed my hair. My hair is like greasy because like I said, I already filmed this, but I'm going to redo it here for you guys because that way you can hear me and everything good. So I'm just going to do like one little tiny pump of this, like just real tiny because like I said, um, it does make your hair a little bit greasy if you're using it like on not wet hair because I usually use it on like wet hair, but you can use it on dry hair just to like smooth away flyaways and everything. So I just rubbed it in really good and I'm just gonna kinda like work it through my scalp just to kinda get it started in there just to kinda warm my scalp up too for this. So. But I usually use this on my hair when it's wet for like a heat protectant so for when I blow dry my hair out and everything. So I'm just gonna put this in. Make sure it's all like rubbed in really good. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the little massager, which you can use this in the shower. I've used it a couple times in the shower, but then I read like a review on it where someone said that they had used it in there and they didn't because this rubber part pulls off and then you can clean it inside real good. They didn't pull that off and they left it closed and like mold grew in there so it ruined it. So I've been really trying to take care of this and not like get it wet or anything or if I do clean it, um, make sure I leave it air dry really good so that doesn't happen because I don't really want that to happen to this. So, But then I kind of just go in 
and start. I just kind of do like little circular motions with it. Just like real gentle so that way you're not like pulling your hair out. Because I think that's what what I was noticing when I said that I thought like my hair was really falling out is because the brush I was using I think was like pulling my hair out when I was brushing my hair. So I switched to like a boar bristle brush and I've been using that. I really haven't been noticing like that much fallout when I brush my hair. So hopefully that's been helping and then this too has been helping because I do this, I've been trying to do it like one to two times a week. You can do it every day, but I don't. So I kind of just, like I said, little circles just to kind of get in all the areas. And then I'll go like, I'll show you like the back here. You guys can see me. Cause I like to put it back here, like on my neck area. Cause that's where I have like tightness and tension too. It kind of goes down into my neck. So doing this too helps like loosen like the lymph and stuff that might be in your scalp if you get like a tight scalp. So it's really good for that too. So like I said, I just kind of go over it just to make sure I'm really getting it really good. Just feels really nice and just de-stresses because that's what I need a lot of the time. to focus up here because that's where I know it just looks like it needs some attention. Yeah, this is really all I do with this. I just thought I'd show you guys this little quick video on it. Maybe you would want to go out and get one because I like doing this. Kind of just part of my routine of all the stuff that I do. Um, Sunday, it's like a self care. Sunday day. But yeah, that's really it. That's really all I do that way there. So like I said, I just do it like one to two times a week just to help stimulate the scalp tension get build up because I do use dry shampoo a lot on my hair so it really helps too with that to loosen up if there's any like build up or anything but yeah I 
hope you guys have a Sunday. I hope you guys ha are having a great Sunday and you have a great upcoming week. I also wanted to mention too that I just made a Poshmark account because I've been slowly going through my um, clothes, accessories, handbags, and I wanted to make an account so that way I could sell some stuff on there. And um, I just made it, just listed some sunglasses. So if you guys are interested in shopping my little closet on there, um, my name on there is Jessica McAfee. So and if you go on there, you'd see my photo. So um, I just posted sunglasses on there so far, but I plan on doing some clothes and handbags too as well just to kind of do like a whole closet clean out of things and just need to get rid of some stuff. So um, I thought I'd make that that way. I can make a little cash on stuff too as well. Cause some of these other places that I was gonna try to sell some stuff at, you hardly get anything. And I feel like um, Poshmark was the one that, or I feel like you actually get to keep more of the money um, they do keep some, but at least you get to keep <clears throat> more of it from one of some of these other places I was looking at. So I set, signed up for that, made an account, and I listed some stuff last night. Like I said, some sunglasses, so check that out. Also, follow me on Instagram at Jessica McAfoos, but because I've been posting a lot on there too as well lately. Um, and what else? I probably post more on there than any other platform on my Instagram and be sure to subscribe here to my channel because um, I am so excited how things are going on here and I just want it to continue to grow because that's something that is one of my goals here for the new year is to grow this channel into something and get monetized and just see where it goes. Um, so yeah, definitely want to subscribe so and turn on a little notification bell to stay up to date when every time I post because I do try to post at least once a week. That's another goal too, posting once a week um, on here for you guys um, just to show you what I have going on or what new things I got. And what else? Like, comment, and yeah, other than that, that's really what's been going on. So like I said, hope you guys are having a great Sunday, great upcoming week, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.